Hello and welcome to another Hero Quest video. Today I'm going to be painting the abominations from the base game. There's three models in total in the base game. I'm only going to be painting one of them initially because I'm unsure of my colour. So the first model is going to be kind of experimental and if I like it I'll paint the other two the same. The first colour I'm going to use is Army Painter Speed Paints Bony Matter. It's kind of a browny, skinny colour. Um, it's hard to explain. But if you look at the card art for the Abomination, which I'm trying to reproduce reasonably accurately, uh, you'll see it's a reasonable match. This is a colour I've avoided until now because I thought it would be very much like pallid bone, bony matter, pallid bone, you would think it would be the same or very similar, but it's actually quite different, this colour. It suits this abomination, in my opinion, at least the fleshy skin part. I'm quite happy with this first colour that I've put down. The next colour up is Occultist Cloak and I'm mixing it 50-50 with Speed Paints Medium. You could use water if you don't have medium, although the medium will help it remain consistent. Mixing it with water would tend to turn it too thin, make it more like a wash. This keeps it in its current consistency and allows you to paint it on quite easily. It does however lighten the shade, but that, that's the intention. That's why I've done it. I've seen a few other YouTube videos uh, where the guys have used bright colours to paint these abominations and while they look great, they don't look anything like the abominations on the cards or in the wee booklets that come with the game. So I'm trying to remain as faithful as I can while still making them interesting looking, at least to my mind they're interesting looking. If there are more of these miniatures with some of the expansions, I may paint those brighter or in different colours, we'll see. But I'm trying to stick to the main card art for this base set. The next colour up is going to be white and I'm going to use it to fix some of the mistakes. Not so much mistakes but areas that the two main colours have went over that I didn't want them to go over because, uh, especially because I thinned the occultist's cloak down with medium. It has made it flow over areas of, such as the loincloth that I want to do a different colour. So they'll be getting painted back in the block white again before colours added. Next colour up is going to be Desolate Brown, which is more of an olive green. Don't know why they call it brown. But anyway, I'm going to use it to paint the loincloth, and I'm also going to use it to paint the shaft on the weapon. I'm now going to use Peachy Flesh and I'm going to use it to paint the mouth of the model. Um, it's kind of red in the picture. I don't want it to be too red, so hence this colour I've chose. The 
back in with the white paint again. This time I'm just using it to touch up some areas that I didn't want to hit. Also touching up the eyeballs, picking out some of the teeth, things like that, the nails. Now I'm going to use the white paint to give the model a dry brush and it's going to be a very light dry brush really it's like fake edge highlighting with the chitinous plates or fish scales or whatever you want to call them you'll see anyway it gives quite a good effect over the top of this grey you do want to make sure the vast majority of the paint is out of your brush though we are looking for a light dry brush here And now it's time for Broadsword Silver. I'm going to use it to do the metal work. Mostly the blade on the weapon and the, the hilt of the weapon as well. Now I'm going to use some maize yellow for the eyeballs. I changed this in the end, so it's up to you. You can see what you think of this colour. For me, it didn't match the card art enough. I thought on second look at the card art, it was more green than yellow. So I changed this. You'll see now I have fast forwarded a bit. I have painted the other two models in the exact same scheme. And because I was happy, with the, first, the, the way the first one was turning out. So I was happy with my colour palette. The only thing I changed was this colour for the eyes. The colour itself, as you can see, is called Charming Chartreuse. I know I'm destroying that second word. It sounds a bit French, actually. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I'm not sure. Again, this is another one of the greens that comes with the Mega Set. It's a nice colour. But did I really need eight or nine or 10 greens? No, I didn't. So I'm now going in now with some pallid bone to paint the nails and the teeth. And then I'll touch the edges of the, the teeth and the nails with white. Certainly on the card art, the nails are very white. A little too white for my liking, so that's hence why I'm using the palette bone first. And now I'm going to use grey paint to base the models. I'm um, keeping all my Hero Quest figures the same colour of grey, their bases anyway, for now. Uh, the bad guys, that is. The heroes may get a different colour base, I haven't decided yet. I have thought about rebasing all the models at a later date on clear acrylic bases. I do quite like the look of clear acrylic bases. You can see through them, obviously, and you can see whatever surface the model happens to be standing on rather than looking at a grey base or a red base or a stone effect base or whatever you get the idea but for now I'm happy with this colour for the bases And now I'm using matte varnish. I'm going to varnish the three models, including the bases. These guys will see quite a lot of play in the game, and they'll be in and out of plastic trays. 
So all my hero quest figures and the furniture gets a coat of matte varnish. And that's the three abominations from the base set finished, and I'm quite happy with the way they've turned out. If there's more in future sets or in some of the expansions, I do have a lot of the expansions, but I haven't looked at the contents yet. I assume there's probably more abominations in some of those expansions. If there are, I may paint them different colours. I'm not sure yet, but I might do. I would like to thank you for watching the video, and I would like to thank you in general for watching any of my videos. Hopefully you get something out of them. I would ask you to leave a comment in the comments section, whether it's good or bad or one word or one letter, it really doesn't matter. What I have noticed recently is my growth as a channel has stopped dead uh, for some reason. Perhaps it was because I painted pink on female goblins in a video. Who knows? But anyway, if you wouldn't mind, just leave a comment. I'm not even asking for subscriptions in this video. Just a comment. Thank you, and have a great day.